feel that up and away. Nice. I'm straight for as long as possible. Feel the push lean pull. Just relax the shoulders at the finish so we don't pull them up here. Uh, just drop the shoulders. Feel it more in the lats. So, yeah, it's still into the rib cage, but rather than high in the shoulder and the neck, just relax them and uh, it's finish off with the lats. Nice. Arm straight for longer. Push, lean, then pull. That's okay. If you find that you're um, not getting confident with the uh, placement, it's probably because we're going in on the wrong angle. So you might need to wiggle your hand back on the oar handle so that when you roll the, um, the handle over, it goes from the square, uh, from the feather to the square. And yeah, yeah, okay. So, just uh, if you find that you're just not getting that good connection, just relax the grip. Snag. <laughs> That's a very technical term. Is it a crack? <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, if you want to straddle, sort of throw yourself over, and then um, throw your throw your leg over. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> <scares> me, pussy. <laughs> okay. Oh. Now. Uh, and then yeah, just uh, beautiful. <laughs> Damn! I'm um, so disappointed. I was going so well. One of the uh, ladies, um, I, I coached two lady, uh, one oh, lady and good. two guys. Ah oh, no, don't worry about it. You sure. Yeah, you'll probably go in again. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, yeah, don't worry about it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the last video I put up of um, air, dry my glasses on you. <laughs> um, Andrew and Jeff and. Uh, and Sue, yeah. yeah, Sue went over in the river. Yeah, um, Are they uh, your other rowing people? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you are always over there. Oh, it's okay. Damn it, it was like um, I got this little snaggy, the yeah. oar just sort of went grip. I noticed once you get going, um, yeah. um, just uh, f just hold your handles in at the finish, knees down. Oh, seat's not on right. Oh, right, okay, I got it. If you, if you want to let go, yeah. You got me? Yep, I got it because I've noticed that a couple of times yeah. that your oar handle has gone past your body oh, okay. okay and once that oar handle goes past your body then you lose control now I don't know if that was the reason at all mm -hmm. but that's why I uh, made sure that you're set up correctly before so just lean back a little bit see so, yeah um, what does that mean? It means that you got a bit too much space around the back turn so uh, I'm gonna just take your feet out and I'll yeah, that's a bit better because now it's just a little bit harder to pull it past your body. Right. So I just uh, adjusted it I incorrectly. So I can't stop, I feel in. yeah, ah. that's okay. Radio. Okay. So uh, again, again. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just. Okay. <laughs> okay, push against me. Yep. Hang on, I'll come back around. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Hang on, I'll just get. Oh. Gee, you wouldn't want to fall in and miss. 
Okay, now what I'll get you to do is uh, sit in the finished position and square your spoons and when you push I want you to roll your wrist forward at the end. So push, then roll your wrists. Not over, don't, don't overturn them. Don't pull, don't pull. Um, flip your oars that way. Yep and pull the handles back to your body, square up, and push, and roll the wrist forward, square up, nice, oh, hold it there Mike, just put the brakes on, okay, okay, and uh, Mike if, um, if you can just sit at the finish, and uh, just play with that, Eddie. So, um, yeah, square them up. Make sure they're square. So, yeah, before we do that, I'll just get you to uh, sit at the finish position. Uh, handles into the body. And square them up. Yep. Yep. And that's not square. square. Yep, square, square. And I want you to push, then roll forward. Push, then roll forward. And don't overturn them. Yeah, bring them back to the body. Square up. Push, roll forward, Hit. okay, and square them up, uh, make sure they're 90 degrees, okay, just yeah, move your hands back, and when you push, I want you to roll, push, then roll the wrist forward, and bring them back to the body, square up, push, roll forward, back to the body, Yeah, you're right. Push, roll forward. Back. Push, roll forward. Back to the body. Push. Once the spoon's in, it's horizontal straight through to the body. Let's get the legs down before the arms engage. Just two more and then stop and we'll straighten up. It, it's getting it square before we go in. Okay. Yeah, because once it goes in on an angle, it just crabs, just knifes in. Okay. Rightio, so when you feel it going deep, just roll the handle back, hand back on the oar handle. Okay. Still going deep. Roll the wrist over. <laughs> no, it's, that's okay. Just hang off the handle. Hang.
yeah, and then just hop out when you're ready. Just, uh, nice, mate. What a great morning. Once your spoons are over, then you've got no stability, and that's the biggest problem with people. There's one, they don't hang on to the handles, and uh, two, they don't keep them flat on. No, no stability there. I reckon that's what happened. It went a bit far, yep. and then it went um, snaggy. Yeah. Uh, no, you can't help. <laughs> There's one, folks. He okay, was I'll cheat by uh, standing. I'll go out a little bit further. Real one. Yep. Never leave the boat. Right. I'm gonna find my glasses. So yeah. once we're uh, once we're in the water, you got to turn the boat over. So all you got to do is stand on the rigger. Oh yeah. Right. Okay. Don't have to do it hard. Once you've got oh. it out. Once you've got the boat over the right way, you can get that all flat. Uh oh. That's easy. No graciousness to it. <laughs> no, there's no graciousness. 